a bunch of ceramics from Yes Style and uh, some other decor for my house and I'm waiting for that to arrive but you know how I've been living off of plastic plates yeah well that was getting hard and I couldn't eat my favorite egg rice so I stopped by Taizu yesterday and bought uh, picked up a few plates and bowls I'm going to wash the dishes I bought some plastic containers for my panchan side dishes small rice bowl a big one when I want to uh, make like bibimbap and then this plate for like eggs and this wooden plate which was really cute maybe for wine nights I just got home from radio and I just wanted to sit down and turn on the camera because today is a very meaningful day for me and it's because I got my first ever paycheck after living in Korea yeah I know that sounds crazy but it's my first time ever like working hard and getting paid for it and you might be like how is that possible but i did make money um, as ladies code but none of it was physically mine because it all went to the company to pay off our debt um so for the past seven years like i didn't know what it felt like to like make my own money and today i got my first ever paycheck for the pay um past month from working i don't know why i'm getting so emotional not planning on crying like this um so i got my first paycheck from radio for the past month of working there independently and um just seeing that amount which isn't even like a lot I mean, you guys are probably thinking like i got paid so much or something it's not but it's just meaningful to me because it's like my hard-earned money it kind of like drives me to work harder now and it's something that i enjoy doing so getting paid for something that you enjoy is also very special so in korea they have this tradition of like buying your parents debok or like long johns red long johns with your first paycheck and um but you know people don't really wear long johns anymore and it's not that cold so I am planning to um, send my parents some allowance with this first paycheck and that's been something that I've been wanting to do for so long and finally um, at age 28 with my first paycheck I can do that of course it's not gonna be much but um, I know things are tough over there with the coronavirus and all the businesses shutting down and stuff so I just want to help with whatever I can and just to be able to do that I think it's something that I've dreamt of doing for so long I hope I'm not sounding like I'm bragging but I'm just so like overwhelmed that I can do this and I honestly didn't even know it was going to be today I just knew that it was going to be the end of the month or the beginning very beginning of the next month um, but I went into radio today and they were all like oh like it was payday today so I went in and checked and just saw that I got paid all right it's time to wash up now I think I'll be able to sleep very well today <laughs> My brothers, one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember when she did it? So I always wanted to try this compression pack. I think that's what it's called. Uh, you know, you put your large clothing, like your large jackets and coats in there, and it compresses it into a really thin um, plastic bag. So I bought some from Taizo to try it out and I have put two of my coats in here since I feel like it's spring now. It's officially spring. There's not going to be a need to wear these thick padded jackets anymore and it's taking up too much room in my closet. Let's try. Mm -hmm. 
demons make it harder to close my eyelids. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. Is this the flattest you're going to be? Remember when she used us, so she hated us. That ended with life, I say shit. good just getting ready for radio it is 4 20 p.m. I just had some lunch and I watched an episode of Anne with Annie just doing a quick makeup look I've been doing very um, simple makeup these days just because I don't want to spend too much time on makeup and it gets ruined by masks anyways mostly just been doing um, foundation eyebrows cheeks and lips i haven't even been wearing eyeliner but it's it's so much easier when i come home and when i get ready to sleep and my hair has basically faded into this gray color but it's still fairly dark i miss my light hair color i thought it would fade back into um, blonde but it's taking a while for that the back of my hair though, it is fading a lot quicker than everywhere else for some reason. The blue is basically all gone. My cramps were really bad this morning so I did some stretches. My eyebrows are super dark so I always use an eyebrow mascara to kind of make it lighter. It's, it's a little lighter, right? And then I use my bronzer just to set the foundation on top of my eyelids. And I contour my nose as well. I've also been using this concealer for my dark circles. This is from Joa. It's like a K-beauty brand based in New York. And my mom gave it to me when I was in New York this past January. I've been using this blush for like the past three years really love it I prefer kind of like um, cushion blushes and liquid blushes over powder blushes just because I don't really like the matte look I like my makeup to look a little dewy and moisturized I'm gonna contour my face because my radio is broadcasted live through YouTube I do have to kind of Think about how I'm gonna look that day a little bit because if it was just like radio with my voice I wouldn't care as much but uh, because we are live daily on the YouTube channel I do have to do my makeup and look decent every single day but yeah on days when I feel lazy I do like just wear a hat so I can kind of cover my face but most of the times I try to look decent my lips are a bit chapped right now, so I'm just gonna put some lip balm on and I'm gonna be putting a lip color when I'm about to leave a little later. This is my makeup look for today. Nothing much, just blush, eyebrows, lips, bronzer. This is a lazy makeup look. So, I got another package and this is something that I got myself as a gift for, you know, being independent and moving out and living on my own. Ever since uh, I could remember, like since I was in like junior high school, I've always wanted a record player. And I told myself when I, you know, have a house of my own, I'm going to buy myself one. And I finally did. It came all the way from America, but the shipping was very quick. I got myself a stereo turntable system from Crossley and mine is to switch to it comes with uh, speakers as well it looks like this right now this is where the LP goes and these are the two speakers oh it's beautiful it's beautiful it's gonna take me some time to learn how to use this I'm gonna leave it there for now, but I think I'm going to get a separate like coffee table for the record player. I can connect my phone to that as well and use the Bluetooth. 
since this product is from uh, the States, the plug is a little bit different, so I had to get an adapter, and I'm currently waiting for that right now because uh, I can't just use any adapters or else it might break. I love the white with the light wooden color. Oh, this feels so nice. I can't wait to set this up and listen to some music with it. Uh, I only have three LPs right now. I have a lot more at home back in New York, so I might ask my mom to send me those the next time she gets the chance to. When I get it set up, I will show you guys. Please stay tuned. Good afternoon guys, I'm about to make myself some lunch and my menu today is this it's from Don Spikes brand and I got it as a gift I received like 10 packs of these and I finished everything except this last one this is really tasty and easy to make all you have to do is put it on the frying pan uh, it's marinated very sweet so I like it kind of looks like a patty but I'm gonna make sure the fire is on low my rice is being cooked in there so you cook this for three to five minutes on each side with low heat and that's it So I finally put together the turntable last night Totally forgot to film it I was in such a rush after I got home from radio I just started putting it together And surprisingly, I did it I feel like I'm getting better and better at, you know, putting things together It's really big It's a lot bigger than I expected So I put it in the corner right here and I didn't really look up the reviews for this because I found it on a Korean site and um, there were some Korean reviews on it which were all good and I just decided to order it because I really fell in love with the design and it was affordable I've been listening to it last night and this morning I have to say I'm really satisfied with overall quality I did buy it for Iman Ochanan, which is like $220, uh, which I know is a bit more expensive than uh, how much it is in America. But I mean, considering the shipping and the tax and everything, I'm not complaining. I have the Honne uh, LP in there right now. I only have three LPs right now Billy Joel's 52nd Street, uh, totally vintage. I also have this. Jolly Christmas Frank Sinatra, which is great to listen to even when it's not Christmas and then the CD that's in there is Honnes So basically, the sound quality, um, I think it's superb for uh, the price that I got it for And since it's just my first turntable, I didn't want to invest too much money into it And you know, hopefully when I move to a bigger and nicer place, I can get an even nicer one I am totally satisfied, I would recommend it I just can't wait to get more LPs so I can enjoy and take advantage of this turntable to the fullest One thing that bothers me though is this This is too big This is what it originally came with and this is the adapter that I needed to buy I'm going to need to figure out a way to hide this 
and it's so heavy too so that is one of the cons but i'll figure out a way still waiting for more furniture to come so my background does doesn't look so messy but please bear with me so one thing i realized after i moved in here was you know how i didn't want to live in an office tell because it was too tiny and it wouldn't have enough room for me to fit all my stuff in because office tells are usually just one rooms like just a studio just go in and it's like a huge box studio right but i realized uh, because those office tells are a lot smaller they have a lot of storage space whether it's like in the ceilings on the sides they have built-in closets and built-in drawers and stuff like that but this house has nothing it has no drawers it has no storage space except for the semi veranda looking thing next to the closet space which i got rid of to um, make it into like a bigger room so besides that there's literally no storage space except in the kitchen but that's really tiny i've just been needing to buy boxes to hide a lot of my uh, stuff i should have taken that into consideration but besides that i'm having a ball and i'm really enjoying myself living alone here i bought that shelf for the living room and that needs a lot more work as well and get rid of the things some things that don't belong up there also i want to say thank you to everyone who's been showing me so much support and um, love for the adulting series it really um, drives me to you know update weekly for you guys because i know you guys are waiting for it and you guys are looking forward to another episode thank you everyone for the sweet comments you guys leave me it really means a lot to me and gives me uh, a lot of strength and makes me feel like i'm not in this alone so thank you guys and i hope you guys will continue to enjoy the adulting series and i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe everyone bye bye